and welcome to the Wednesday evening devotional. Um, kind of titled this um, Stop Being Arrogant, um, and I'm going to jump right in. And I'm going to preface this by saying it's going to be a little bit rambling, um, but I promise if you bear with me, we're going to get there in the end. So a little while ago we, at Young Adults, right, we started this, this series of, of lessons and messages um, on relationships, on, on relationships between ourselves and God, um, ourselves and our family, others, and of course, with ourselves. And something that really stood out to me um, in that, in, in one of the lessons, was how proudful and how arrogant I am. And I'm probably not alone when I say that. I'm, you know, there's a lot of people out there that, that could probably relate. Um, and yeah, we generally think about things and, and how they affect us and not how you know, these things are going to affect other people. Um, I know I tend to think of, of how a situation is going to affect my life and how it's going to make me feel. And I don't really think about how it's going to affect other people. And it was during these lessons that I felt that God was, was speaking to me through the questions that they were asking. And, and one in particular was, how does God's love impact how I relate to other people? And the word tells us in, in Luke 6.38, in the same way we receive, we give. Which led me to ask some tough questions of myself. How am I receiving God's love? Am I getting all the love He is trying to lavish on me? Am I able to open myself to more of Him? Do I give others the love that God gives me? Am I getting my cup full? And Am I giving a cup full? Now this is where we're going to start rambling a little bit, right? And we're going to go off on a bit of a tangent. But those questions led me to see how arrogant I really am. I started thinking about how this message relates to me. I didn't think about how I'm not giving same love that God is giving to me, to, to others. But I did think about God's love and how I was getting it. And it made me realize that yes, God loves me. He really loves me. But in my head, because you know, sometimes our head doesn't uh, really agree with with everything that's going on and, and in my head I was I was like yeah you know God loves me but if he really knew me if he knew how terrible I am he wouldn't want me and I mean that's just silly because of it's God we're talking about of course he knows me of course he knows every intimate detail of me who I am And he loves me anyway. And we can see that in John in first John four ten. This is love. Not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be an atoning sacrifice for our sins. The reason I say that we as people are prideful and arrogant super simple. I know for myself I have a tendency to be really hard on myself. You know, put myself down. And I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one. But I realized, well I needed to realize, that I'm not God. I need to stop telling myself that I'm not worthy. God loves me. I don't get to tell God 
how much he loves me. I don't get to tell God what my, my worth and my value is. He created me. He knows my value. He knows my worth way better than I could ever imagine my worth to be. Thinking that we can tell God anything and be right, it's just crazy. So I guess I just want to encourage everybody with the fact that we are created by an almighty God who absolutely loves us. and He places infinite value on us because He's in us. He literally breathed life into us. Genesis 2.7 tells us, Then the Lord God formed man from the dust of the ground, and he breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living being. But at the same time, this is a warning. Because Proverbs 11.2 says, When pride comes, then comes disgrace. But with humility comes wisdom. So we need to remember to be humble before God. Stop being harsh on ourselves. Because God loves us. And if God can love us, who are we to not love ourselves? Let's just end in prayer. Father God, Thank you for loving me and all of us the way you do. Father, there's no words to express how thankful I am personally for what you've done for me. Lord, I pray that you'd keep helping me to realize my value, to realize the worth that you've placed in me. And you'd help those that are listening tonight to, to realize the same thing, the value and the worth that, that is on them because you are in them and you, you love them. Father, I just pray that you'd go with each of us, Lord. You'd be with us. You'd guide us on, on the path moving forward. I ask this in your name, Lord. Amen.